Just coming up to 19 minutes past eight. Three drugs which are used to treat cystic fibrosis might no longer be available for new patients on the NHS in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. This is because the health spending watchdog, NICE, has issued draft proposals which say that the treatments are too expensive, despite patients saying they deliver life-changing benefits. To explain more, here's our reporter, Alan Thomas. Delilah is a lively young baby playing at home with her family. They were told that she had cystic fibrosis just a few weeks after she was born last June, but they had hoped that a number of drugs that are now available would improve her way of life. Time and time and time again, we've been told that if there was ever a time to be born with CF, that now is the time, because she could have a relatively normal life. Um, and, and we've clung to that. That's formed the bit, like, you, you can't do otherwise as a parent. But last week, they were told that NICE have withdrawn its recommendation for a number of medicines for the moment. It just felt like we'd just been dragged back into that black hole because everything that we believed was in jeopardy, everything was being taken away. NICE say that they're evaluating the cost-effectiveness of these cystic fibrosis medicines to ensure that taxpayers continue to get value for money. There's a consultation process going on at the moment, but they say that patients who are already having the treatment will continue to have it while the evaluation is ongoing. Life for Delilah already involves regular medical treatment, but her family say that it would be transformed if she had access to these drugs. This is the difference between having a conversation with our daughter saying, don't go to university, there's not much point, and her living to 70 or 80. You know, this is 45 years of extra life for our children. The Cystic Fibrosis Trust have called the news disappointing, and they say that NICE, the NHS and the drug manufacturer Vertex need to work together to find a solution to make sure that these treatments are available for all those who could potentially benefit. So they say that there isn't a return to a situation where people with cystic fibrosis die far too young, knowing that there's a treatment that could change that. OK, we can talk to Jess and Will, whose two-year-old daughter, Ottilie, has cystic fibrosis. We're also joined... Good morning to you. Good and morning. Ottilie has... Who's this Ottilie? Is that Baxter? Who's this? Baxter. 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 <laughs> Baxter's very soft. So we've got Ottilie and Baxter as well. We're also joined by Professor Alex Horsley, who's a cystic fibrosis specialist. Good morning to you, Professor. Thanks very much for your time with us. Um, Jess, Will, morning to you. Can you just explain um, what medication is Jess... Is, is utterly taking and how does it change or help her life? Otty's on um, various medications for cystic fibrosis and um, we had hoped that she would be moving on to a cafeteria very shortly. Yeah, the main, the the main, main parts of her condition affect her lungs, lungs and her digestive system, so... Lots of antibiotic nebulizers to keep her lungs clear. Yeah. Lots of physiotherapy. It's quite routine in the day. morning, yeah. isn't there? Routine. And and with food, every time she eats, people. she has to take uh, Creon to help her digest her food. People. So it's uh, there's a lot involved. Yeah. Okay. So the medication she's on now is uh, she's on all Canby. Okay. She's on all Canby. And um, and we were hoping that she would obviously move on to Caftrio. And what does Cap? Catrio. 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 Um, what are the benefits of that? Why would you want Otti to move on to that? I mean, Catrio has been yeah. life changing. Yeah. Life changing. I can just see the hope with... in, in both of you. Yeah, and just... we've lived and lived from, in hope. From the day that Ossie was born, we found out very early on that she had cystic fibrosis because we ended up in hospital with her right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And Everybody, we have a team of people in the NHS that are there to help Otty, and they all were saying, don't worry, there is this, this miracle drug that is now available. She will get a brighter future. And, and the future is so bright, and we've been clinging on to that for two, two and a half years now. There is a marker, isn't there, six years old? Yeah. What is that? Explain that to us. The, when 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 they when children turn six, they're able to receive Catrio. That's this is right. before the recent announcement that's just happened. The, the age has been dropping. Yeah. When it first was approved for use, it was for much older patients that were really struggling. Yeah. And then, as it was shown to be so effective, they were then reducing that age, 
and it was Marie 12 Chopin. until recently, and then it got dropped to six. And we were hoping that very soon it would drop to two. In fact, we, we were we cool. were almost expecting yeah. it to drop to two this month, and we were hoping that Otto would be on Caf Trio by the end of this month. Yeah. Given what you've told us, and obviously your hopes, and then people hear about the numbers, the costs associated yeah. with this, and I think it's estimated, you'll know this better than we do, I think it's estimated £160,000 a year. It's a lot of money, yeah. I mean, those are facts, aren't yeah. Those are straightforward numbers. Yeah. How, how, what do you say when, when the, the, that is the cost? How, how can you put a price tag on someone's life? I mean, this is a life-changing, life-extending <laughs> drug. I mean, it, it's, it is it's, devastating for the city's yeah. community. It's a large upfront cost, but then when you look at the big picture of, mm. of what this means for people with CF, they, it, instead of them being out of school for weeks at a time on, on IVs in hospital, they're getting... They're furthering their education to you know, become productive people in society in the future. And instead of them taking time out of work to be in hospital or, you know, us as, as carers for her having to take time out, yeah. it means that she can focus on being, you know, growing as a person and, yeah, being a productive a person life. in society. I mean, when you hear these testimonials oh. from people who are on CAF Trio, it is, it's incredible. You know, they're getting married, they're having children. I mean, it's decades. They're getting decades. Yeah, I mean, we're talking doubling their life expectancy. Well, everybody would completely understand what you're saying there. Mm. And uh, Otterley, I think, is way ahead of us because she's yes. pointing over there. She is. Pointing the professor. professor. <laughs> we'll who talk is, to who is, is there? We'll yeah, talk to him, Otterley. You're telling us what to do. She's, she's brilliantly directing us this morning. <laughs> professor, very good morning to you. So we've heard, obviously, the story, one family story, of the impact this drug uh, is having, can have, in the future. Just give your assessment of the situation uh, that NICE finds itself in a relation making uh, that NICE finds itself in a relation making this decision. So, so good morning. Um, it, the, the testimonials are, are very powerful and, and that's very much what we see in, um, in our clinic as well, that, that these drugs have been absolutely transformational for patients. Um, the, the, the difficulty we have with NICE is that it's a, it's a very good tool for assessing cost effectiveness, but it's not well suited to um, a, a drug like Caftrio uh, uh, that, that acts across an entire lifespan. So we're not really talking here about a few additional years of life or, or, or quality years of life. We're talking about a drug that acts over an entire life and, and really does change people's opportunities. And, and I think we'll, we'll um, explain this really, really kind of powerfully and, and, and well for, for Otterley that this is something that will act um, throughout her life. It will, it will change um, her opportunities. It will change her from being someone whose life is dominated by CF to someone who can live an essentially normal life and manage CF in the background. Um, Professor, can I... Why is the drug so expensive? There are other drugs, you know, that are used to treat conditions that the price comes down. And when it is a life-changing drug, a drug that's so important, why is it so expensive? I mean, that's a good question, and I, I guess that's what the Department of Health will be asking Vertex. Um, certainly, there's an awful lot of sunk cost in developing these drugs. They are very hard to develop, they're very expensive to develop, and because there's a, a relatively small number of patients, it's quite hard to get the, that investment back. But, but those are questions, I suppose, that the, the Department of Health will be having with Vertex. And I suppose we should say that this is a draft... This is, at a moment, a draft consultation, isn't it? So no final mm. decision has been made. What could tip the balance here or what will NICE be considering? So I think the important thing to bear in mind at the moment, this is um, this will not affect those who are currently receiving CAFTRIA. And that, that's a very important thing to get across for, um, for, for people who are watching this who may be concerned who are already on CAFTRIA. The people who will miss out are people like Ottilie potentially who have not yet reached the age of six where the drugs are prescribable. And um, what, I, what I hope will happen now um, is that this will this will start a conversation so that the price you quoted of 160,000, um, the actual price that the NHS pays is less than that. We don't know the exact price because that's commercially sensitive, but I hope now that they will get around the table and, and certainly um, the CF medical community, the patient community and the CF trust are urging them to do that. 
Um, and if, if people want to feed their opinions in, there is a process, NICE are taking consultation on this. So you can find a link to that from the CF Trust website and from the NICE website. And this is the opportunity to feed in experiences. So if if uh, people are carers with for patients with CF or have CF themselves, this is the opportunity to, to make their voices heard. Uh, Jess, do you, on that theme, do you feel like your voices are being heard? Yeah, I think, I think the CF community is an unbelievable community, one that we never imagined we'd be part of and one that we could never live without. And There are a lot I of mean, people in the community. We're a very strong community. Yeah, and I think everyone's really trying their hardest to be as loud as possible about this. I mean, look where we are. Yeah. You know, it's... Absolutely. it's yeah. I mean, we never imagined to be in this situation because we thought that we'd be, you know, receiving this drug. Um, and it's been devastating. The news is devastating. It's just waiting, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's so yeah, hard. It's yeah. But I, yeah, it's so hard. Uh, it's been lovely having you here. I'm glad yeah. you're all able to come. Honestly, what, what's happened to what, where's what was Baxter? Baxter, where's Baxter? <laughs> where's uh, Baxter? Where Hold on. Okay. Oh, phew. Oh, right. <laughs> I was worried. Shoey, he's fine. Baxter's fine. <laughs> Otterley has done a brilliant job of completely upstaging everyone and directing us. Absolutely brilliant. Um, listen, thank you so much, because it's hard talking about this and it's hard yeah, kind it of is. talking out loud, And but you're doing it for the right purposes. So thank you both so much and good luck. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and, you. and keep us informed yeah, as well absolutely. as to what, you know, how, what happens next, because, yeah. Uh, yeah, we will follow. Yeah. Professor, thank, thank you, you very thank much you. as well. Thank you thank for you. Your, your words of expertise as well. Much valued. Thank you. Time now.